Greetings guys and today everything you need to know how to swap a transmission on your lovely Golf Mark III. Let's get begin and first thing is our safety. Get your parking brake applied, make sure vehicle is not going anywhere and use safe to work underneath. Shift your transmission into the park and you're good. Block the wheels using the suitable pieces of firewood or you can use a factory made wheel blockers. Use what you have, pop to your hood and we're good to start it. As you can see, my engine compartment covered it all over the place with uh, automatic transmission fluid. It spilled everywhere. Oh, it's tons of those little pockets on top of the trans axle you can see all the hoses connectors cables everything just showered with the atf fluid and why it's happened because automatic transmission torque converter seal started to leak as crazy second thing we need to remove our battery undo both battery clamps both negative and positive. We want to disconnect the power and make sure we won't short anything. And also we need to get access to those all components under the battery. Undo the bracket bolt, it's on the side of the battery. Remove that and battery is ready to come out. Undo the power steering reservoir. You don't need to disconnect the power steering hoses, just take the bolt and put it aside. Take a wheel cap off, pry from different sides, and it will come off. Take it off, get access to the lug nuts. And now we need to lose that axle lock nut. Because our wheels are still on the ground and we're able to do it, use a long enough pry braking bar and yeah, take it off. Take your wheel lug nuts, remove the wheel. The same thing on another side, remove the plastic radiator cover, you need that room. Now we'll start moving from the front of the vehicle to the firewall, undoing all those connectors, hoses, uh, cables, electrical wiring, harnesses, and all that stuff needs to be come out. Make sure nothing attached to the transmission. Undo the starter cables. Remove the harness from the holder bracket. Disconnect the wires from the starter. There's uh, one connector and one nut. Pull it out, put it aside. Make yourself more room to work on the rest of the stuff. Remove the harness holder. Just a plastic sort of a clip holds that down to the metal bracket. Use the zip ties to strap the all wires in one harness and it will be away and you won't be cut on it see those connectors we disconnected undo the bracket bolt for the harness connector that guy hold our main harness start taking the starter bolts or long bolts that go through the uh, uh, transmission housing and uh, holds the transmission all the way to the engine block is a pretty long bolt i like to put all parts together make sure i'm not losing anything and it's easy to put everything back one bolt on the bottom pull it out you see they're all the same length you won't miss and it will be easy to assemble pull the starter out and you don't need it anymore just Put it aside. Now okay, I crimp the coolant hoses to the transmission. I'm using a set of Y strips just wrapped with a duct tape. You can use electrical tape. 
or if you have a special hose clamps you can use them as you can see well uh, good I marked the connectors with a paint marker because there's a multiple connectors with the same size and shape they go to the different terminals make sure you won't miss anything and it will, it will put them in the right position and there's a main connector that takes time to disconnect all of them but uh, you need to check everything twice make sure when you will be dropping transmission down you won't tear anything and there's a shifter cable bolt on the shifter arm take a ball out and put it back and then you don't need to look for that bolt and you know where it came from pull the holder clip and now you can remove the shifter cable pull it out from the bracket and disconnect the speed sensor it's on the bottom the transmission is hard to film but you have an idea uh, clean all those uh, tie rod ends and uh, spray the penetrating oil on them and there's uh, three bolts for the ball joint, we need to undo them, let them soak, you can do it the uh, night before you start working on a transmission, but it's, it's, they're not really rusty. Take the side plastic cover from the transmission, remove it, you need to all get, get that room. To the bottom and aside from the engine bay as you can see way better now loose the tie rod nut with a braking board if you have impact tools use them i don't tap with a plastic mallet don't use the metal hammers they will damage the threads and pull it out the tie rod and and let it hang now we have ability to turn our knuckles start undoing the bolt joints nuts from the bottom then three of them i like that volkswagen designs no those uh, pins or no compression things to disassemble also easy and pull the cv axle out from the knuckle and we're good on this side yeah, same thing on another side support the engine with a jack stand put a piece of 2x4 now we need to undo the bolts which from the uh, torque convector cover there's the two bolts they're all 11 millimeters it's, most of the bolts on this vehicle is 11 or 13 which is very uncommon usually it's 10 and 12 but somehow another VAG group Volkswagen Audi group, they like those sizes. I don't know about that. Okay, tap it with the screwdriver to let it get loose and you can pull it out. We need access to those torque conductor bolts. As you can see that yellow bolt, oh yeah, that's one. There's three of them. We need to undo them at this time. Okay, use a ratchet and a socket to turn the crankshaft. As you can see, I'll only turn your engine clockwise. Turn it until that torque connector nut will get into the position where you can easily reach with a wrench. You got it to that point. Lock your crankshaft, but put in a ratchet against the vehicle frame mark the first bolt which you started with a paint marker it will give you a reference point when you will be installing and also you know where you start it as i said just lock that ratchet against the frame and then you can turn the nut it's pretty simple but they're pretty tight 
and we can use the open wrench. There we go. Nice and easy. Turn your crankshaft again until next nut will come out. It's coming somewhere. Come on. There we go. Another yellow nut showed up. Same thing. Turn it and do that nut. Turn your engine over. There's a ratchet and there's the last third torque converter nut is showing up. It's there. Undo that. Turn nice and easy. Here we go. And there's our rat marking the mark. And we're done. So you get your cherry picker, aka shop crane, ready. Attach the chain to the engine. Everything is now getting more serious. We're ready to support our engine because we need to drop the engine subframe. And then only that crane will be helping to suspend the engine. Okay, keep a slight tension, don't pull too hard, just a little bit, make sure it's not just loose. I we see those ears on the side of the cylinder head. Okay, remove the metal protection guard from the bottom of the transmission. There's a four bolts, two on the bottom, remove the balancer brick from the engine subframe. A solid chunk of steel. Start removing the front transmission mount. There is a one bolt on the side. Get that one loose. Don't pull it out. Otherwise, your bracket will start spinning. There is a Allen nut on the bottom of that uh, mount. Take that rubber bushing off. And then lose the upper bolt. That's long bolt you need to remove. It. Here we go. That's all assembly. Put all bolts and nuts back and keep it until you need it. Okay. Same thing. We need to remove the uh, rear transmission mount, which holds the transmission down to the engine subframe and do those nuts there's a few of them here we go we've done them as you can see it's easier than you think one two three four five five nuts were removed put it aside you can see it's everything's getting more clear more stuff pulled out removed as you can see our transmission is still attached Need to get a few more things. See, it's getting more gap. Okay, now time to support the gearbox. There's a jack. Put a piece of 2x6. Make sure it's resting softly on the jack. One bolt on the bottom. Need to remove to undo the transaxle from the engine. And there is a couple bolts on top of the transmission housing. As you remember, we already removed the starter and it's another two long bolts. We're getting closer, closer. And there's a three and two on top, you're good. Okay, start removing that, those bolts, see what I'm doing, it's one, I pull it out, you got it. Now time to undo the engine subframe because the transmission won't come out, it's not enough room, we need to undo those bolts and uh, as you can see it's pretty tight, there's uh, different sizes, different bolts and also we need to undo this three bolts on the passenger side plus there is a power steering rack for Four nuts, yeah, four nuts you need to remove, and uh, that's uh, what you need to do on the bottom. As you can see, we got them successfully removed. Our power steering rack is with the engine subframe is there, it's attached. I put the 
jack stand on one side to have some extra support you can see all removed there and there is another bolt inside you need to find undo your, your air intake tube to get access to the front engine mount that's who you need to undo last they'll use a long ratchet drive you find a long extension to reach the bolt on the bottom all right that one's got loose as you can see it's down below undo that and that is the last thing which holds the engine subframe to the chassis and the engine okay now you can drop it you don't need to undo this steering rack it can hang it's attached to the st uh, steering shaft and yoke you just need to support it pull it out the subframe that's the most important part to get that one out and you have all room it's all yours see that is pretty dirty we removed as you can see there is a holes one two three four five six so it's not seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen those are fasteners you need to undo them there's no way it will come out all right now we can just start slow slowly carefully prying out the transaxle from the engine just to go around see it oh, oh it's coming i got it out and here we go go slow make sure one dropped just control the process make sure not rushing anything no hassle no hurry See, it's already on the ground safe you don't need to undo the shafts the axle is still attached fine if you want to do it you can do it tons of ATF fluid is all over the transmission that's a bad thing I mean but it was drivable but you need to add probably one liter of transmission fluid every 100 kilometers made the home safely but there's no way you can drive it as you can see there's a drive plate with bolts everything if you need to do it you can do it now no gearbox it's gone how long did it take us 17 minutes <laughs> okay now pull your torque convector out there's a big guy full of atf fluid don't flip it and see that bad boy seal is leaking and oh gosh that's little seal costs almost nothing portion price but it's so much work to replace it yeah just inspect the torque convector input input surfaces make sure it's no scratches no any cuts as you can see that torque convector seal lip split it has a split it's just cracked 25 years old rubber failed well good time to replace it already purchased the seal new seal is waiting to be installed all right seal now what now we're removing seal using the seal puller there's a little, little like, interesting tool really helpful to pull the seals get your seal puller and into the seal pry it from behind and go around the different few spots and pull it out you need to grab the outer collar of the seal don't go too deep you see have an idea how to do it just set your hook to the inner side of the seal and pull it out as you can see you grab there and go too far it has no 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 not that far as i'm showing you just like that and pry it out it will come out go to the two three different spots 
uh, star pattern it will come off all right guys thank you so much for watching next episode will be transmission installation if you like the video please hit that subscribe button thumbs up leave a comments if you have any thank you so much for watching and enjoy your smooth drives on your volkswagen all right see you soon have a great day stay safe and bye bye